one, one point from four games is uh, is not a good uh, it's not a good number of, of points gained. But I think we played most of the games really well. Uh, the reason for only one point out of four games is uh, yeah we can find a lot of reasons. Uh, some reasons we cannot control. Uh, Corona, referees, VAR, uh, uh, other things that we cannot control. So we focus on the things that we can control. Uh, and we are trying to fix every day the, the way we are playing, uh, how we can improve, and so on and so on. So this is what we focus on. Uh, but one point from four games is, is, uh, is not, not a good tally. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult match. We, we know that it is a really, really important game for, game for uh, Qatar Sports Club. They are in re the relegation fight. So it's going to be a really uh, like motivated team we are facing uh, on Friday. So we have to be ready for this. Uh, we are now in the seventh place, uh, but with a win, we can, we can go higher. We have a possibility of going higher, so this will be a, our goal to win the game and, and climb a little bit higher in the table. But we, we expect a really tough game from a well-motivated team, from, from a, a well-organized team of Qatar Sports Club. So hopefully we will be ready for a, for a big fight on Friday. Yes and no. Uh, it was a very strange season. It was uh, good runs and then long breaks and we, we struggled after breaks to, to start again. But then we had another good run and a break and we had a problem now since the, the corona to restart well again. So, so a lot of things have happened in Arabi and I know the people who is monitoring the team have seen progress uh, on the pitch. But I think the biggest progress is within the squad, within the culture of the club, within the way the, the, the players are training, uh, with, with the way the players are behaving, showing professionalism. So I think this is the biggest change in Arabi this season. Uh, I think also the players now realize uh, the tactics. Uh, we, have, we have played with a lot of young players who are now ready to play first team but i think overall we have taken a, a big step in in becoming a more professional team and then when you have the culture when you have the culture within the club when you have people and players that really love the club and are willing to fight for the club and work every day then you can build a good team yes you can buy good players and maybe win a trophy but if there is not a good culture within the club then this team will very quickly uh, stop being a good team. But if you have a good culture, it's easy to build a good team on a good culture. Yeah, I think we have found a good squad of players. I think it has taken uh, more than a year to, to find out what players we think uh, will be future players of Arabi. Uh, to find players who we think will be uh, the best players today to carry this work on and continue to improve, to find the, the right players to continue to improve. And we're very happy with, uh, with the players we have. Uh, and then we only need a spice, a little spice, to, to, to win games that we have been drawing, to get draws from a games that we have been losing. Only one game this whole season, only one game we can say we did not deserve to win. That was uh, the big loss against Al Sadd. All the other games, all the other games was maximum one goal difference until the 94th, 5th minute. So we can, we can for sure say that we had a chance every game we did not win to get more out of every game. So the, the structure is there. The spirit is there. We only need a little spice for next season to change draws into wins and to, to change losses into draws. But the structure and the tactics and, uh, and the mentality is there. 
and we have been building this, and the boys have been building this the, throughout the whole season. So, a little bit of spice, a little bit of something extra creative, uh, and uh, yeah, just a, a little spice on what we have.